Hello everyone, welcome to BIMmodel.com. In this video tutorial, we are discussing about how to save as the existing Revit model into a previous version. I can tell you that directly that there is no option like that. I think RRS by default they are doing like that so that people will be upgrading to their newer versions. So from the perpetualization to the subscription based model. So still people are using the old sub, uh, perpetualizations. They want to upgrade to the newer versions because all the projects are running in the current versions every time at least um, they want to move them to the subscription model. So uh, there is no save us option. Uh, to the previous version as like any other softwares or like AutoCAD but there is an option uh, we can do uh, like we can export this model into a IFC and we will be able to import it in the uh, previous version as IFC but there is a drawback I'll discuss in this tutorial uh, you can watch it through so you'll be able to go ahead and go to the export option and IFC and there are different versions of IFC available and then we are in 2023 and it supports uh, different versions you can go to the modify and you will be able to see in this place the recent version you will be able to select from this place so my, in my case I will be using the default settings and, and I'm going to export this into my desktop to the new folder in here as RAC Revit sample project so I'm just exporting this once export is successfully done you will be uh, able to know that it is done you will be able to see the status bar in the bottom uh, we should not disturb the rivet and you will be able to see the bottom side here the export is completed it says and we will be able to go to the other rivet it means uh, the previous version of rivet you have to open a new project and go to insert link rivet and you can go to the new project here and you will be able to link this IFC file what happens is when you are linking this file automatically Revit uh, converts your IFC file into a uh, model uh, Revit model RFT model so so it, RVT model so uh, whatever the case uh, we are losing some data and we will not be able to edit the wall or roof any elements as like Revit so it will be there as a 3d geometry and it will be there as a direct shape if anyone knows about the geometry there is a direct shape so we may not be having the full future trivet we will be having the geometries if you need any specific task uh, related to the editing the object you will not be comfortable with this object options but this this will be a, a simple option to uh, represent the uh, or view the model in the previous version if you have only the uh, old version of Revit so uh, this is how the model comes in you will be able to go inside and since it's a linked file it's an architectural file uh, um, you will be able to see a bind option you can bind with the level and everything grids so that uh, we'll have our own grids in our own origin places so there is the same settings available but I'm going to override these settings And once if the uh, linking is done and the binding of link will be done and we will be able to uh, have the group as grouped object and we will be able to edit it if you need. So I can select OK or remove the link. I'm just selecting the OK. It's a group. Now we will be able to select the object and we will be able to do the ungroup. Now we have the object as I said it will be a 3D object like in the previous project but with some limitations of we will not be able to edit any geometries as like interpreter. So this is the only option at the moment we have and uh, we, we can use this for visual purpose or we may use it for documentation purpose we may not be able to edit these elements in the previous versions. So this is the autodesk set you have to move on to the next version that's the fact. So thank you so much for watching. This is a frequently asked question um, in in the uh, our comment section. So I'm just updating this a, into our library so that people can know that this is not possible. So whenever you do a family or whenever you do a Revit project, make sure that you are working in the right project. So you should not double click on a file. It will it could be opened on the new uh, new Revit file if you are installed like me 
all the software is in a place same place so uh, have a nice day have a nice learning see you on the next tutorial